Good morning, I'm the Moon Mama. Today is Wednesday, I'm here a little later. My son is home from school, as I know that everyone's child is home from school and we have to make some, um, we have to make some new choices when we're parenting from home and teaching from home and all that sort of stuff, and working as well. So the Mercury, Mercury is the day that governs the day and Mercury is completing its last, the last leg of its shadow in the first degrees of Pisces. And I hope that you guys can feel this energy. All of a sudden, you know, I woke up this morning and I felt really like, like I was in water, like I couldn't feel the bottom, <laughs> right? I was just in my consciousness. It was like, oh, I can't, I can't get grounded. I can't get centered. I can't like, everything's calling for my attention and my energy and I feel like I have so many things to do. And I noticed that and I was like, okay, this is, what is this? So I looked and I was like, okay, Mercury just went back into Pisces and Pisces is the collective consciousness. So we're all in this collective swim together. And the moon is currently in Capricorn. And the moon in Capricorn is about our structures and we're seeing that our structures are, um, we are being spread out and we're, it's like we are, our structures are being, our structures are buckling. Let's just say it like that. Our structures are buckling. So there is a, a real effort to pull everything back in. Um, and that's what this Capricorn, the moon in Capricorn is. But the thing that's important for us to know, because Mercury has been in retrograde the entire time in this, since February 2nd, Mercury started its retrograde um, journey February 2nd, the first shadow aspect. And then it went into um, actual retrograde, maybe like on March 3rd or, or out of, like it's whatever, whatever the dates are. Um, it's been in retrograde the entire time. And so what that means is whenever you hear Mercury retrograde, they'll say, don't buy anything new during Mercury retrograde. Why? Because it won't last. Don't start a new relation, relationship in Mercury retrograde. Why? Because the relationship won't last. Things that come during Mercury retrogrades are ephemeral. It's, they're literally there to give us an opportunity to learn something. A retrograde means renew, review, revise, right? So the opportunity during this um, experience of this coronavirus and just this time period is for us to be looking back and seeing what has worked and what has not worked and be allowing ourselves to take to make new choices by by deep self-examination and self-analysis. Saturn is going into Aquarius um, in the next several days and Saturn Saturn and Aquarius is going to create a collective um, identity crisis. I'm sorry, excuse me, is what I would like to call it, a collective identity crisis. And what does that mean? It means that we have to look at who we have been collectively and see how it's working. For instance, you know, in my city in Los Angeles, the homeless population is off the charts. That is a collective um, creation, something that we are doing together in our city because of the economics, because of the housing and all that sort of stuff. So we're going to have to look at all of these systems and re-identify and revisit and review what has been serving and what has not. Because as Saturn comes into Aquarius, it's important for us to begin to see who we really are. And in our humanity, there's so much about us that we don't know, that we have not explored, that we're not using. For instance, there's this young 17-year-old kid who was on Democracy, Democracy Now!, um, who has been tracking the outbreak of this coronavirus since December, right? That's a resource that we're not using, a 17-year-old kid, using in a way that really um, centralizes our, our strategies and our ability to understand our environment. Like, we just are outdated, right? And so as, as Saturn comes into Aquarius, innovation is going to um, shoot off the charts and because we're going to be asking deeper questions about who are we, who are we, and what what is it that we need, and we're going to be learning more about ourselves when we begin to ask these questions. We think we know everything about ourselves. We don't know anything about ourselves, really. That's the thing that has helped me as I've been studying astrology to realize like, 
oh, I don't, I didn't even realize that I had this ability, this gift. Like I have this capacity to be able to um, do te telepathy with people that I'm connected with. I have an ability to create a reality in my mind and then watch it unfold in my life. But I didn't know that I could do that before astrology. I sensed it because I'm sensitive and because I'm intuitive and, and, um, and I ha have a great I practice, my spiritual practice is really keen for me. So I, but my astrology has helped me see who I really am. And many of us are going to be asking these deeper questions and learning about who we are because we need to. In order for us to be able to shift through this, from this age of Pisces, which literally ends in the next couple of days, and the, and as the sun moves into Aries and we go through this spring equinox and Mercury ends its retrograde shadow, we are fully stepping into the age of Aquarius. And the age of Aquarius, there's a about a 200 year shift that it takes. But it's literally like the set is going to change. Like if you go to a play and the scene changes and literally they turn the lights off and the whole set, and when you come back, when they turn the lights back on, there's something entirely different, right? That's what we're moving through in our own consciousness. So we have to discover what our new character, like who are we going to be as all these structures change, change and we do work different and we do government different, who are we going to be? Like marriage is changing, parenting is changing. What does that mean for us? And, you know, for me, I know that it means that I am much more in tune with nature. I'm much more in tune with my body. Um, I follow the sun. I follow the moon. I use crystals. I, I use, I drink herb waters. I use oils that help me um, align my body and align my mind and spirit. I am... Um, you know, doing doing herbs and plant medicines and things like that. All of that so that I can, all of that so that I can become myself, become who I really am. And so I encourage each of you to um, begin to ask the deeper questions because we all have to. That's why we're quarantined, right? That's such a Saturn and Aquarius thing. It's so cool like to come to yourself, to be yourself. And just know that because all of this has been going on in Mercury retrograde, it's going to leave. It's going to go. You really don't have to worry. You really can relax. I'm not saying don't be mindful, don't learn and don't don't learn what you can do to be healthier. Don't make um, choices that are good for your health and well-being. I'm not saying to be irresponsible. I'm saying don't be worried because Mercury retrograde bought this in and Mercury retrograde is going to take this out. <laughs> and it's as simple as that. Like that is how it works. So I am the moon mama. If you'd like to join the moon course, um, I'd love to have you. We're going to be doing the new moon in Aries. That's all about your identity, like you being yourself. Like it's the resurrection, being born again. Uh, if you'd like to do a natal chart reading or um, if you want to check out my Mercury Retrograde class that I taught so you can learn how to check that stuff out for yourself, you can. that's a recorded class. You can just go in and get it. It's $9. I can give you the link to it. <sighs> I've said a lot, and I've said it quickly. And um, I, we're all on our edge. We all are. And I just encourage you to ask the deeper questions. Who am I really? What am I here for? Does this matter? Do I need this? How should I show up here? You know, what's for me to do? What's for me to leave behind? And then allow yourself to be led. It's time for us to tap into our intuitive gifts and powers and we're gonna need them. How about that? We're gonna need them. And if we don't have them and if we don't know how to use them, we're gonna suffer. So I encourage you to find ways to do that. All right, peace and blessings, everyone. I'm the Moon Mama. Have a beautiful day. Bye-bye.